y'all are right, hello fun and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tracking Lights mod, which was originally made by forum user Trollception, it's now been resurrected by Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two lovely new spotlights which can actually move on their own and track targeted vessels which is amazing and offers up so many cool possibilities about how to use these things so let's uh, jump right into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get now let's grab ourselves a yeah, mark one lander can for size comparison sake today and then turn on our mod filter leaving on tracking lights and head down to the utility tab where we'll find our two lovely new objects the first of which being the launch spotlight now this is the larger of the two lights which very much has that uh classic stereotypical spotlight look to it and being larger also does consume the most power using up 2.4 electric charge per minute to produce its light now if we pop this thing onto the lander can it can of course be attached radially but it does have an attachment node there at the bottom so we can place it onto any existing nodes which is useful and it just looks great i really do love the modeling and texturing on this it is a very cool and definitely fits in with the stock alike style and I don't know why but for some reason I really like the caution hot surface uh, warning there it amuses me but all in all a very cool spotlight for you to use and as I mentioned the larger of the two and with the name very much sort of geared towards using it for tracking the launch of, say, rockets leaving the Kerbal Space Center. But of course, you can put it anywhere and use it however you want because, well, that's the fun of the game. Now, the other light we have here, and the smaller of the two, is the MTS. And this is a miniature LED tracking spotlight, which is a lot smaller than the uh, launch spotlight. And being LED and smaller uses a lot less power at only using 1.2 electric charge per minute rather than the uh, 2.4 we had before. And if we uh, move over the launch spotlight there and pop on our MTS, you can just see how tiny this thing is now it does not have an attachment point node on it so it can only be attached to a surface radially which I mean works perfectly fine and it is though a very cool little light I do love the little individual LED lights in there the sort of stereotypical light can look very fun now no matter which of the two lights you do go with there are some fun controls now they do track automatically that is kind of the main point of the tracking lights mod but if we do open up our context menu here we also have the ability to manually control this thing as we have the tilt and rotate options which does of course allow you to tilt i about said temp for some reason but tilt the uh, spotlight up and down and then rotate it all around uh, very nicely so you can manually control where it goes if there's a situation you're not wanting it to automatically track a thing and you just want to light at a specific spot now being a light if we do turn it on we do of course have the standard rgb controls like with every light out there but we also do get a couple of additional fun options for the intensity range and cone size with the intensity going down from a zero producing nothing and going all the way up to 10 basically making it a small freaking sun and the range has a minimum of one but you can increase the range all the way up to five allowing the light to go a lot further and finally we have the cone size with a minimum of one basically making this darn thing a freaking laser amazing and going all the way up to 80 so you can oh boy make a really really big light and that that's great even with this tiny little 
LMTS LED spotlight, you can produce just as much light as you could from this gigantic thing. Now, no matter which of the spotlights you do go with, it's going to always default to the one intensity, one range, and a 30 cone size. But of course, you can adjust it to your heart's desire. And uh, yeah, the only other two options are involving the tracking. So let's actually head out into the world where I have two uh, little rovers waiting to talk about that tracking. So let's go to that tracking lights rover and let's quickly, uh, uh, oh God, I keep messing up words today. I was about to say elevate time, but no speed up time so it's darker so we can actually see the lights a lot better there we go and now I have two identical rovers here and if I do turn on these lights you can see not a whole lot of brightness to them but in the uh, scene mode here we still do have the ability to change color tilt rotate and set the intensity etc which is great so you're not stuck with whatever you did select in the vehicle assembly building but the more important things here are the tracking where we have the first option here is just tracking either enabled or disabled and that's it now then the next button below it is what to target so by default it stick starts with current targets so whatever your target in the world is so if we double click that over there and enable the tracking boom that spotlight is now shining on that over there but we can also change it to active vessel which when you are in the vessel tracking the active vessel it more or less points wherever you sort of default the, the light to point like you'll notice it's sort of pointing forward and if I say go to one of the side MTS ones and change that to active vessel there we go both of those are uh, actually set to sort of shine down on the ground by default so yeah we are currently tracking ourselves but again, if we do go to the current target, current target, and current target, there we are. We have all lights now shining on that other thing. And if we do actually start driving around it, you'll notice that the lights do move. Because, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of tracking lights. They will track the thing you're targeting which is wonderful so if you are say on a rover mission and you're coming back to your base you can keep some of your headlights pointing forward to watch the terrain while having one of these spotlights pointing towards your target on the horizon so that you know where you're going and just kind of keep tabs on it which is pretty cool and I do really love the tracking ability here it works very well now you may be wondering though about the option there for tracking the active target or the active vessel rather but let's park this one and actually change these back to the active vessel active vessel and active vessel currently all pointing back in their default positions because we're in the active vessel and then Let's switch over to this one. Oh, look at that. They're all pointing at us now because now we are in the active vessel. And even though we're no longer in that uh, rover over there, its lights will still track us. And I love this feature because it is perfect for putting the small MTSs on around, say, a docking port on a space station or on your colony base off world, you can have those lights defaulted to active target. So once your rover or ship or whatever gets in range, these lights will start pointing straight at you, shining a light and showing you the way. And I love that. It's so great that it will automatically target our particular ship. It is just such a cool feature. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Now, an additional thing to talk about here is with the lights themselves. Now, they are considered lights, of course, they are spotlights. So if I hit the light button, they all will come on. But in terms of tracking, it is an individual light by light 
thing. And that includes if you do add them on with symmetry. So these two MTSs on either side, I added in through symmetry. So normally, any change you make to one will work on both. And in fact, you can see I changed the intensity on these up to two, and it is in fact two on both of them. But tracking is unique per light. So if I enable tracking on this one and have it uh, tracking the targeted vessel, oh, nope, I actually had it on the right one already and it was enabled, there we go. It is now pointing over there. This one, it's not. It's enabled, but it's targeting the active vessel. So it is a per light basis for the tracking as well as what target it should be on. And I actually quite like that. So you can have multiple lights on your ship even if you place them through symmetry, each doing a different sort of targeting, which is pretty darn handy. I do a very much enjoy that there. Let's actually switch it to target though, and switch it to target. Wonderful, now both of these rovers are shining lights at one another, and isn't it wonderful? I really, really do like this whole thing. It just offers so many fun possibilities for your space stations, your colonies, building your own launch pad to actually, you know, launch to space from here in the Kerbal Space Center. It's just great, and I really, really do love all the things that we can do there. Uh, but yeah, that is really it for this mod. It's a fun little selection of spotlights with some cool features that I think you should all check out. And if you would like to check it out, you can have a look, of course, at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is gonna be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be having a look at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.